this story. Thousands of Haitian migrants have arrived in Del Rio, Texas. This is the Department of Homeland Security announces a new strategy to deal with the overwhelming crisis. For more, we are joined by the former acting ICE director and Fox's contributor, Tom Homan. Tom, thank you for taking time on Saturday. As you have may have just seen, DHS putting out a six-point plan to address the crisis. These images coming out of Del Rio are nothing short of startling and stunning. I have spent a lot of time there. Just five months ago, I watched thousands cross the Rio Grande River. I went into the river to confront a smuggler, but I saw nothing like this. How, I'm gonna to get to the six-point plan, but first, just to ask you because of your experience, how do we get this under control? You fired the Secretary of Homeland Security who's failing to do his job. He's violated his oath. He's a Secretary of Homeland Security, and his inactions have made our homeland insecure. I, th I mentioned this this morning on the show. I talked to a command at the Border Patrol this morning, Greg. His words were this, his words, not mine. He, he says, broken arrow. We are broken arrow, Tom. We, are, we have lost operational control of the southern border. We are overwhelmed. We are being invaded, and we can't control it. That, those statements alone, you know, should wake up every American that this border is out of control. And, and yet the Secretary of Homeland Security still says the border is secure and is closed. He needs to be removed. And you want to fix it? Even though I have no respect to this administration, I'll come back tomorrow. And I'll bring Mark Morgan and Steve Miller with me, and we'll shut it down in a week. Because there shouldn't be a six-step plan. There's a one-step plan. Re and re-implement Trump's policies that worked, that drove illegal immigration down 80%. What, what's most insulting about what's going on right now is intentional. They purposely came in within two weeks, destroyed the most secure border we ever had, and opened the floodgates to win the progressive left, to win the election. This is intentional. They have abandoned the men and women of the Border Patrol, and our country's at great risk because of it. As we look at our drone pictures there of that Del Rio Bridge, 14,000 or more migrants under there. In the last 24 hours, my sources confirmed for me, uh, Tom, that 1,949 migrants were processed. That's not even 2,000, and there's 14,000 under that bridge. There's only 50 to 60 porta potties under that bridge. A hygiene nightmare how are they going to get this under control even if they have a six-point plan which includes among other things 400 agents to be surged to that location bringing in ice to move migrants to other processing centers and to work with transit countries to try and take these people back because of their ridiculous policies because of their bad decisions because of their incompetence they're going to pull more law enforcement off the border to the processing facilities, which means the border is even going to be more vulnerable. 40% of border patrols off the line. Now they're going to get 50 or 60% off the line, which is going to drive the cartels and move more fentanyl, traffic more women and children, and, 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 and God help us, a terrorist coming into this country because the border is less protected. One thing we haven't talked about is 350,000 gotaways. 350,000 people have entered this country illegally, were not arrested because the border patrols overwhelmed. And what are they going to do? They're going to take more agents off the line, which means less arrests, to deal with this crisis that they created. This is a national security issue. So how are they going to fix it? They, I got no problem to transport them to other facilities across the country to, de, to, to, to process. But the follow-up is detain and remove. And that's something this administration hasn't done. They work really hard at releasing people quickly into the United States because they think that's the next batch of Democratic voters in the future. They right. counted the next census. This is about political, this is about their political future rather than securing the United States, which is their oath, which is their duty. So, John, they put in the plan that they're accelerating the uh, repatriation uh, flights to Haiti. But at the end of May, this administration reinstated TPS temporary protective status. Was that not a, mis a mistake to invite even more that we see now to come? Absolutely, it's always a sleight of hand. Right? They're, they're, they, they announced the other day, well, we only got 208,000 encounters. That's down 4,000 from, from the 212. But they're lying because, yeah, they got 208,000 encounters. It's because they got less people on the border arresting people, so there's less encounters. But what they failed to talk about was less encounters means more gotaways because they're taking law enforcement away from law enforcement yeah. duties. They already shut down enforcement checkpoints. They're already shutting down ICE in their operations. 
This is this is lawless. This is the first administration in my lifetime that is actively facilitating illegal immigration in this country. They all need to go. This is this is put this country at secure at, at, at an immense crisis. Not only a humanitarian crisis, not just an immigration crisis, not plus, not just a public health crisis because of COVID coming across that border. It's a national security crisis. We no longer have control of this border. All right, Tom Owen, thank you for sharing your insight. It's just, I've never seen it like this. I know you haven't either in that six point plan. They ended by saying the Biden administration has reiterated that our borders are not open. It appears that they are based on the images we're seeing. Tom Owen, thank you very much. Jackie? No integrity. No integrity.